Welcome to my channel Travel Lovers, your portal to exhilarating adventures across the globe. Watch breathtaking travel experiences and subscribe today and become a member of our travel-loving community. Today's video is about Lisbon, which is the capital and largest city of Portugal, with an estimated population of 567,131 as of 2023 within its administrative limits and 2,961,177 within the metropolis. Lisbon is mainland Europe's westernmost capital city, second overall after Reykjavik, and the only one along the Atlantic coast, the others, Reykjavik and Dublin, being on islands. The city lies in the western portion of the Iberian Peninsula, on the northern shore of the River Tagus. The western portion of its metro area, the Portuguese Riviera, hosts the westernmost point of continental Europe, culminating at Cabo de Roca. Lisbon is one of the oldest cities in the world and the third oldest European capital city, after Athens and Rome, predating other modern European capitals by centuries. Settled by pre-Celtic tribes and later founded and civilized by the Phoenicians, Julius Caesar made it a municipium called Felicitas Julia, adding the term to the name Elisipo. After the fall of the Roman Empire, it was ruled by a series of Germanic tribes from the 5th century, most notably, the Visigoths. Later it was captured by the Moors in the 8th century. In 1147 Afonso Henriquez conquered the city, and in 1255 it became Portugal's capital, replacing Coimbra. It has since been the political, economic, and cultural center of the country. As the political center of the country, Lisbon hosts the government, National Assembly, Supreme Court of Justice, armed forces, and residents of the head of state. It is also the center of Portuguese diplomacy, with ambassadors from 86 countries residing in the city, as well as representations from Taiwan and Palestine. About 2.96 million people live in the Lisbon metropolitan area, which extends beyond the city's administrative area, making it the third largest metropolitan area in the Iberian Peninsula, after Madrid and Barcelona, as well as figuring amongst the 10 most populous urban areas in the European Union. It represents approximately 27.83% of the country's population. Lisbon is recognized as an alpha-level global city because of its importance in finance, commerce, fashion, media, entertainment, arts, international trade, education, and tourism. Lisbon is amongst the two Portuguese cities, the other being Porto, to be recognized as a global city, and it is also home to three companies in the Global 2000, EDP Group, Galp Energia, and Geronimo Martins. Lisbon is one of the major economic centers in Europe, with a growing financial sector, with PSI 20 being part of Euronext, the largest center for debt and funds listings in the world. The Lisbon region has a higher GDP PPP per capita than any other region in Portugal. Its GDP PPP amounts to 179 billion US dollars and thus $61,713 per capita. The city occupies the 40th place of highest gross earnings in the world and, with almost 21,000 millionaires, is the 11th European city by number of millionaires and the 14th by number of billionaires. Most of the headquarters of multinational corporations in Portugal are located in the Lisbon area. During the Neolithic period, the region was inhabited by pre-Celtic tribes, who built religious and funerary monuments, megaliths, dolmens, and menhirs, which still survive in areas on the periphery of Lisbon. The Indo-European Celts invaded in the first millennium BC, mixing with the pre-Indo-European population, thus giving rise to Celtic-speaking local tribes such as the Sempsi or Cephs. Although the first fortifications on Lisbon's Castelo Hill are known to be no older than the 2nd century BC, recent archaeological finds have shown that Iron Age people occupied the site from the 8th to 6th centuries BC. This indigenous settlement maintained commercial relations with the Phoenicians, which would account for the recent findings of Phoenician pottery and other material objects. Archaeological excavations made near the castle of São Jorge, Castelo de São Jorge, Lisbon Cathedral indicate a Phoenician presence at this location since 1200 BC, and it can be stated with confidence that a Phoenician trading post stood on a site now the center of the present city, on the southern slope of the Castle Hill. The sheltered harbor in the Tagus River estuary was an ideal spot for an Iberian settlement and would have provided a secure harbor for unloading and provisioning Phoenician ships, 
The Tagus settlement was an important center of commercial trade with the inland tribes, providing an outlet for the valuable metals, salt and salted fish they collected, and for the sale of the Lusitanian horses renowned in antiquity. According to a persistent legend, the location was named for the mythical Ulysses, who founded the city when he sailed westward to the ends of the known world. Lisbon's name may have been derived from Proto-Celtic or Celtic Alisipo, Lysapo, or a similar name which other visiting peoples like the ancient Phoenicians, Greeks and Romans adapted accordingly, such as the pre-Roman appellation for the Tagus River, Lysso, or Lucio. Classical authors writing in Latin and Greek, including Strabo, Salinus, and Martianus Capella, referred to popular legends that the city of Lisbon was founded by the mythical hero Ulysses, Odysseus. Lisbon's name was written Ulysipo, in Latin, by the geographer, Pomponius Mela, a native of Hispania. It was later referred to as Olisipo, by Pliny the Elder, and by the Greeks as Olisipo, or Olisipona. Another claim repeated in literature is that the name of Lisbon could be traced back to Phoenician times, referring to a supposed Phoenician term Elisebo, meaning safe harbor or pleasant haven. Although modern archaeological excavations show a Phoenician presence at this location since 1200 BC, this folk etymology is never attested in ancient classical literature. Lisbon's name is commonly abbreviated as LX or LX, originating in an antiquated spelling of Lisbon as Lixboa. While the old spelling has since been completely dropped from usage and goes against modern language standards, the abbreviation is still commonly used. Thank you for watching this video, please subscribe, like, comments and share.